How will Jupiter and Capricorn speak to you and your sign? Find out at NadiaShaw.com. Hello, fabulous Gemini. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of December 2019. Looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out for us right now. And it is in the middle of the month, right around the 12th, that we are going to have a full moon. And this is a special full moon for you because it is in your sign. Now, normally you get one full moon per sign per year, and this is your moment. And part of what makes this full moon notable is that it is connecting with Neptune in tension. And simultaneously, under the light of the full moon, we will have Venus meeting Pluto in the sky as well. And so, when it is that a full moon occurs, it tends to represent a time of truth for you. A time when you are looking at what it is that perhaps you've always known. Um, perhaps it is something that you didn't really want to look at before. It's a truth rooted in emotion, ultimately. And it is about you having a moment of understanding what you really feel about a situation, perhaps one near and dear to your heart. Well, with the connection of Neptune, it does suggest that all might not be as clear as you may like. And with Venus meeting Pluto simultaneously, there is heightened emotion in the air. This connection of Venus and Pluto is happening in a part of the sky that is quite intense as it is, quite emotional as it is for you. And so you bring these layers together and it does suggest that your emotions may be more dominant at this time than necessarily a more rational uh, way of approaching a matter may be. Now that doesn't make it any less valid, right? Your emotions matter and what you feel does matter. But keep in mind with that Neptunian connection as well, there's um, something to be said here for, on the one hand, there can be some disappointment at this time, I'm so sorry to say, but part of this can also be realizing what isn't working and where it is that adjustments need to happen. And that can end up being tremendously empowering. Mars is speaking in supreme harmony with Neptune under the light of this full moon. And at the same time, this energy can sometimes suggest that the people whom you would most like to be honest with you, maybe that sense of forthrightness is not there as much as you had hoped. Now, regardless of how it is this energy works out, understand that this is a time of you connecting with your truth. If it's your truth, it's enough. If it matters to you, it matters. And it's possible during this time that someone tries to talk you out of what it is that you're feeling and what it is that you're perceiving. Well, even if those particular uh, ways of looking at a situation have their value for you to contemplate, at the same time, if you are having an emotional reaction, or if it's a time when you're having to look at a disappointment, perhaps a past disappointment, there can be value in allowing yourself to feel it as well. It is cleansing to give yourself permission to feel the disappointments of the past so that you really can put them behind you. There is something very empowering about admitting to yourself what it is that you really feel and what it is you really want and then realizing where you've put enough energy or where it is maybe you need to push just a little bit more. Your answers will be uniquely your own. But it is important that you practice healthy self-care, especially around the full moon, and that you're taking the best of care of you and getting enough rest. All of these factors are going to be tremendously important to navigating this time well. The big news this month, though, that a lot of people are talking about has to do with Jupiter. It is going to be right around the second of the month that Jupiter will change signs and leave your opposite sign, moving into a part of the sky that is much more profound, much more about, on the one hand, personally about emotional intimacy and being changed as a result of, of profound sharing with another. But on the other, it has to do with your relationship with financial institutions. And so Jupiter moving in here, that tends to indicate prosperity and access to resources now and in the year ahead for you. It is going to be towards the end of the month, right around Christmas Day is when we will have a solar eclipse. 
and this solar eclipse is meeting Jupiter in the sky. Now, ordinarily, astrologers have said that the sun meeting Jupiter in the sky is considered the luckiest day of the year. You add the energy, the electricity, the excitement, the quickness of the eclipse meeting Jupiter in the sky. Well, all of that does suggest that, yes, prosperity and resources and a true sense of self-knowledge and a true sense of knowing another, all of these become possible for you. A sense of deep transformation based on honesty becomes possible for you in an instant. Now, the way to work with this energy is not necessarily to set your sights on one particular outcome. That's not how eclipses like to work. They like you to be open so that there are several pathways that maybe you don't even realize where something can be delivered that is better than anything you could imagine for yourself. Whether it is connecting with some source of wealth within you or whether it is in a practical sense, finally getting that uh, commission payment uh, coming through or getting a sense of where it is that you have access to resources and finding it very quickly being realized in your life. These are just some of the ways in which the universe can help you to connect with the spirit of abundance. And there is tremendous abundance available to you at the time of this solar eclipse, thanks to Jupiter being right there as well. This is essentially setting up a 12 plus month cycle, but it starts like in a very accelerated kind of way, in a way that will start to make it very clear how it is that Jupiter wants to bless your life now and in the months ahead. Now, of course, there's a Jupiter special horoscope uh, on my site, yes, but on YouTube as well in the first days of December. So be on the lookout for that for more of how Jupiter will speak to you and your sign. Now, where it comes to matters of love, I'm being brought back to that uh, particular solar eclipse in the late part of the month because it is about intimacy. The superficial is just not going to cut it. There's going to be a desire for something really authentic, something really real between you and another person. And the important thing is to stay open because if it is that you're open to meeting someone new, you might connect with somebody this month. And especially uh, when I look at that solar eclipse, it's like in an instant, your connection serves as a catalyst towards more profound change. If it is that you connect with someone early in the month, you may feel like you're on a little bit of a roller coaster with this person until we get to that moment of clarity promised by the solar eclipse. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, this is a month with truth written all over it. There might be some mixed feelings with this person in the middle of the month at that full moon. And it could be a sense of realization as to what's working with this person and what isn't, where you feel that maybe you are more invested or they are more invested, and what the truth of your own feelings is around this matter. But it is at the eclipse that some truth is reached and it's either gonna be all in or really not. So either that understanding of what it is that has brought you with this person will help the two of you to feel that much more bonded, or you'll really realize that this isn't working and you'll feel ready and excited to go in a different direction. And for those of you in an established bond, well, look, that eclipse could bring unexpected money through your spouse. And so it could be that your spouse has some kind of a big opportunity or windfall that presents itself to them at that solar eclipse as we get into the second part of the month. However, this energy can also be you coming to know your partner more deeply, your partner sharing with you more deeply as well. There may be a very quick sense of the two of you progressing together very quickly and leaping your relationship forward. Well, it is based on truly feeling respected by this person and you feeling a renewed sense of respect and love for them as well. What I love about this month for you, well, look, there's so much here, but I am actually going to say that full moon in the middle of the month because it is so important to you and for you. It is going to be a time when you are getting very clear, even amidst the confusion. <laughs> Neptune is very confusing, and yet the truth is in there somewhere. If you're willing to look beyond, you know, disappointments and perceptions and really get to the heart of you, you will find that there is a truth there that matters. 
And when you connect with that very truth, what is the next right thing to do? Well, that will be abundantly clear. Just make sure you're doing so with faith in your heart, knowing that there truly are great things happening this month. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more, all of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.